Hi friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. In this tutorial, we'll uh, see an informatical scenario of uh, separating the duplicate and non-duplicate records to separate tables from our source. So here you can see the source where it is having a header and it is having few records of uh, some repeating values. So by making use of these values, we are going to you know sort these values and then separate the duplicate values to one target and the non-duplicate values to the other target so finally the target is going to be two so coming to our informatica here already our mapping is ready you can see it here so it's very simple so just drag and drop your source so source qualifier will be there in that you can see only header is available so then I'm taking this uh, as my you know the source is a flat file I'm making use of a transformation here sorted transformation in order to sort my the file before sending it to the aggregator so first I'm making use of a sorted transformation and once you expand the sorted transformation if you go to ports uh, you'll be able to see that I've um, checked the key and I've, I'm going to sort it in ascending order so then after sorting just make sure that you're making use of an aggregated transformation send the header to your aggregated transformation once you expand the aggregated transformation if you go to ports you will be able to see only header make sure that you're creating another port called total count so that um, you're getting the total value of the header from you now from the just say count of header and make sure your group by is checked so that uh, it will be just the way how you make use of a group by in your SQL SQL query right same result will be given when you you know check this group by in your aggregated transformation so after that <coughs> just uh, send the same to your um, send the, these results to your router in the router I will be creating a group where I'll be saying this uh, total count should be greater than one and the um, default one let it just you know go to the another you you must be knowing how the router and the filter works right so whatever doesn't satisfy this condition will go to the default group so I am going to send this total underscore count to one file and the remaining records to the other file so when I say total underscore count should be greater than one that means duplicate records will be going to one file and um, the original that is non duplicate values will be that is the default one will be the non duplicate record that will be going to the other one so you can see our source underscore dupli one this is also a flat file so that I'm sending the duplicate records to source underscore dupli one and uh, the remaining that's default is nothing but non duplicate records I'm sending that to a another record so after this make sure you are um, setting up a session creating a proper task and all and uh, I've already created those things just go to mapping in the source make sure you are giving the as my source is a flat file I'm giving the proper path and the file name so that uh, you can fetch the values from the retrospective uh, file then in target make sure where you want the your file to be present and um, header option if you want the header to be fetched from your file then you can make it as output file field field name or else you will be getting an empty uh, header then here I'll just change the name to this is going to be our duplicate value so and uh, source underscore dupli2 is going to give us the non duplicate right non duplicate value non duplicate value so apply ok then save your session and just right click and say start task if you go to your monitor informatica workflow monitor you can see how the mapping is running it succeeded now if I go to my desktop 
uh, two files will be created duplicate and non duplicate you can see it here duplicate is having the a and b that is what was the duplicate values present in my original or source file and non duplicate values are in the other file so this is how you need to create a mapping in order to separate the duplicate and non duplicate um, records hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial and it was useful i will come up with more um, informatica scenarios if they if you want to uh, know any of your interview questions based on informatica scenario or anything related to plsql then do meet me i will create a video based on that itself so keep supporting me and um, thank you very much for watching